Yeah! We switched up on you. We did. I'm driving now. I'm a little nervous. I'm nice. See, look at stop. You mm -hmm. trying to hit pedestrians. Me. Pedestrians don't come first when I'm driving. So today, we're going to have arguably the most important meal of the day. It is the most important meal of the day. Breakfast. Yeah. And we're about to have a, the breakfast of champions. And Campfire Grill. It's in Walden. It's what, the Pew? Yes, the Pew, Pew, New York. Courtesy of Step Out Buffalo. Yeah. They said it's a low-key hidden gem for breakfast. So we about to see what they talking about. To be honest, it's kind of hard to mess up breakfast. Because if you mess up breakfast, you just suck at life at that point. You know, Minimalist. you talk about, look at this. You put your what? blinker on five blocks before you turn. Freaking people. You you got to know, you be having road rage. I don't, though. You do, though. Because I it's justified for the most part. Because people be doing, look at this. This is <laughs> Doing on the lines, you don't even know where he oh go. God. Where is he going? I don't know. Or she? <laughs> she don't even know where she go. going. Ooh, sorry. Ooh, sorry. All right. Yeah. Y'all be just out here driving reckless for no reason and don't know how to use a blinker. It's like if you don't use your blinkers in times when you're supposed to use your blinkers, like weaving through traffic, I'm pretty sure you might be a borderline serial killer. And put it like this. Anything that's attached to your steering wheel and around your steering wheel, you need. That's why they put it in your fucking car. Yes. All right? It's that simple. Yeah. That's enough about traffic. School. Yeah. I mean, I'm hungry. I'm always down for the break fast, even though I already broke it. But And this is the first one of the season. The first breakfast spot. That's the problem. Like, I would eat more breakfast if it was served all day. Yeah. Some places don't so, do yeah. it, so. Which is mind boggling to me. And we're here. Look at this, look at this, look at this motherfucker right here. No, he's doing exactly what he's supposed to be no. doing. Let him live. No, I can't. This is a pet. Him. There might be a wait, so who knows. But you're gonna wait with us, but not really. <laughs> right, like, we're gonna go in anyways. If we don't succeed, you'll see us at Denny's. No, no, <laughs> not going to, no. How dare you? Now hiring co-host, or new co-host, Denny's. We've been there. Have we? Yeah, yeah, I have, so we're not going. <laughs> <laughs> we shall return, hopefully with a full stomach. So, they said it's a 25 to 30 minute wait. A packed place is all, it, it, can, it can be a good thing. Yeah, for but, sure. Next time you see us, well, you, next time you're not gonna see us, you're gonna see the food. Yes. All right, man, so I got a breakfast flatbread, got scrambled egg, well, not scrambled eggs, we got eggs, spinach, tomatoes, camper potatoes with some onions. Crumble, strawberry pancakes. Mmm. What you get, Russell? I got me the fresh berry good cakes. Fresh mixture berry. of strawberry and blueberry pancakes. Uh, trailblazer omelet with ham, onions, mushrooms, peppers, and cheddar cheese. With some potatoes and onions and some rye toast. This is some homemade strawberries. Strawberry syrup. Oh, It was good. I enjoyed it. 
forgot to put my get some spinach in my omelet, but those pancakes were legit. Yeah. Omelet was good. What kind did you get? Good. What kind of pancakes? I got fresh berry good cakes. Oh, fresh berry good cakes. With a mixture of strawberries and blueberries. I enjoyed it too, man. I had the crumble cakes. Strawberry ones. And it says next to them, don't ask how they do it. Just know that it's amazing. And I have to agree with that statement. And that statement should be for the whole meal. Because I thought it was amazing. What statement? Don't ask how we do it. Just know that it's amazing. Oh, that's the whole statement. <laughs> You're so trash. <laughs> <laughs> you are. I swear you are. <laughs> I mean... I recommend you come. It ain't hard to miss. If you're getting it, off it, on walk, it, it kind of is hard to miss. It, well, the way you drive is hard to miss. You was moving. Well, yeah, because I didn't. It's just there. Like it's there. It's just in the middle of yeah. nowhere, pretty much. It's across from it's, Buick GMC certified, pre-owned Jim Murphy. And if you run into transit, you've gone too far. Yeah. And one thing I will say, you get more than what you pay for. Like we pay what? I think it was like 15, 16 They don't need bucks. to know what, what we paid. Why you, why they gotta be in my pockets? They ain't gotta be in my pockets. You tell them what you paid. Why you just <laughs> lash out at me like that? Again, I'm looking for a new co-host. <clears throat> I'm being verbally abused. But just know you will never be as good as me. So, <laughs> all right, man. We ain't got nothing else to say. Well, I don't have anything else to say. I got a lot to say, but I'll save it for the next episode. Stay tuned on the next Dragon Ball. <laughs> you know what it is, folks. <laughs> stay black or don't stay at all. Oh, that's it, though. No? That's that's. You know, I like I, it. Yeah, you like that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Let's go to Walmart. <laughs>